Today we're diving into the top three ways to lose weight and maintain those results in a sustainable way. So if you're tired of fad diets and temporary solutions, stick around because we've got the ultimate guide for you. Hey, I'm Catherine, Certified Mental Health and Wellness Coach, and I've lost 65 pounds implementing strategies that I share here on this channel with you. So if you want more, including healthy recipes, mindset tips, and biblical foundations for health, don't forget to subscribe. All right, so let's jump into the first way to lose weight and maintain your results, and that is mindful eating. So losing weight and keeping it off starts by developing a healthy relationship with food. Mindful eating is all about being conscious of what you eat and how you eat. So how can you practice mindful eating? Well, I have three ways for you. Um, one, you can practice portion control. So you start by understanding your portion sizes, what's appropriate for you so that you can avoid overeating. And one way that I do this is using smaller plates to help me control my portions visually. So I'm not always having to count calories and measure everything out. Um, the second way is just to slow down. Have you ever heard your mama say like, girl, you better slow down and chew that food. I know I've said it to my own kids. I've heard it in my lifetime. So slow down and chew your food thoroughly and savor every bite. This really gives your brain time to register that you're even full, which can help you prevent overeating. And the third way is eliminating distractions. So turn off the TV and put away your phone while you're eating and really just focus on who you're with while you're eating and the taste of your food, the texture of your food, and just really be present with the eating experience anytime you're eating. The second way to achieve lasting weight loss is by adopting a sustainable exercise routine. And listen, exercise is really only 20% of the weight loss equation. 80% of it is more mindset and diet, but exercise is definitely important. Exercise is more for a healthy lifestyle all around. Exercise isn't just about burning calories. It's really an essential component of an overall healthy lifestyle. And finding a routine that's sustainable for you is going to be crucial. So here's how you make exercise a regular part of your life. First, find what you love to do. So try doing different things like dancing, hiking, swimming, biking. If you don't like Pilates, don't do Pilates. If you don't like high intensity interval training, don't do it. If you don't like running, don't do it. For so long, I thought I had to run because that's what everybody said to do, right? But walking is actually one of the favorite ways for me to get in my exercise. And it works really well for helping you to lose weight. And almost everyone can do it. So discover what brings you joy and you're going to be more likely to stick with it. Also set realistic goals. So start with something achievable like walking for 20 minutes a day and then gradually increase the intensity and the duration of your workout from there. So don't try to jump into an overly strenuous workout routine when exercise hasn't really been a thing for you up till now. <laughs> so start small, then work your way up while you're reestablishing the habit in your life. And also you can make it social, you know, exercise with friends or join a fitness class. Having a support system can really help you to stay motivated and accountable to your goals. Before I jump into the third way, I just really want to take a quick minute and invite you to an exclusive free webinar that I'm hosting this Thursday here on YouTube, where I'm going to be teaching you the five simple steps to turn around failed diets. And this is only available for those of you who register. So if this sounds like something that you need in your life, grab the link to register in the description below. All right. The third way to lose weight and maintain it is all about lifestyle changes. This one is huge. Long-term success comes from making positive changes to your lifestyle and not just about following a temporary diet plan. So are you ready for some transformative lifestyle changes? First off, prioritize your sleep and aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. Really, lack of sleep can lead to weight gain and hinder your weight loss efforts in so many ways. And also manage your stress. Find healthy ways to cope with stress like Christian meditation and journaling or spending time in nature. Stress can trigger emotional eating and derail your progress in a heartbeat. 
And also stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. You know, for weight loss, you really need to drink half your body weight in ounces a day. And sometimes thirst can be mistaken for hunger, which can really lead to overeating and reaching for that afternoon snack that you didn't really need in the first place. So now I want to share a bonus tip with you. Weight loss isn't just about the things we do, but it's also about the way we think about what we're doing. So if you only focus on changing the outside, like your waistline, and you aren't changing who you are on the inside and getting healthy there too, then what happens when you quit the diet and the rules? You gain the weight back. If you're tired of temporary weight loss and you're looking for a way to lose weight sustainably and to break off food addiction and emotional eating and get healthy once and for all, I invite you to check out my proven system for health and healing, the biblical body plan. This is exactly how I drop 65 pounds and you can too. So visit the link in the description for more information on how you can be part of that. So there you have it, the top three ways to lose weight and keep it off for good, mindful eating, a sustainable exercise routine, and lifestyle changes. And remember, it's not just about shedding those extra pounds, but about embracing a healthier lifestyle and becoming someone who does healthy things automatically so that you can maintain it for life. Check out this video here on mindful eating if you want more information about that. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.